stay tuned because we're going to learn how to live your best life. Okay, so thank you everyone for coming in, joining me today. My new subscribers, thank you for the love and your support. If you like content that is about dating, marriage, being a mother, inspirational messages, learning how to cook, and fashion, you came to the right place. So hit that subscribe button. So how to live your best life. We as people always look and compare our lives to other people. And the moment we look at other people, and what they got going on in their lives, we start comparing it and saying, well, they got this going on or such and such got that going on. And God, what, what's going to happen for me? And I just want to let you know the way to, the key to freeing yourself is to stop the comparison. I'm going to give my personal story. One, I did things out of order. And why I say I did things out of order is because the sequence that society says you have to do. They say, one, you got to graduate from college. Then go into your career, get a good job, go into your career, find the love of your dreams, get married, and so on and so on. For me, that didn't happen like that. I went to college, I got married, I got pregnant, and then I finally got into my career. So everything just, you know, went totally different for me. And I started comparing myself and I got myself into a little funk because I just said, well, you know, do I add any value to life? Because I literally stayed at home for a very long time. And one, let me let me just tell, give you a breakdown. So my first year of marriage, I got, I got pregnant. So I had my son and it was right on my last semester of graduating from college. So once I finished and graduated, I decided to stay at home to take care of my newborn. Okay, life kept going. I got pregnant again by the time I wanted to get my master's degree and I ended up having a stillborn. So in the midst of that, I was just upset and I had to get through that trial and that tribulation because I just didn't understand well, what, well, God, why would that happen to me? And then after having the stillborn, I still continued to push forward. And I went on to continue my master's degree. And towards the end of my master's, I got pregnant again with my third child. And in the midst of that, I uh, had her in the midst of me interning. So I had to put graduating on hold until I had her and then I had to go back and finish up my my internship and then I was able to graduate so it put me back my graduation back about six months so that discouraged me finally I got my degree and I was like oh I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my job I finally started my job and I was working for a year and what ended up happening I got pregnant again. Because I have high risk pregnancies, I put myself on bed rest because I had a stillborn and then my third pregnancy, I had a premature birth. I had her, I had my daughter at 31 weeks. And then with this pregnancy, I had to see the doctor every week and it was just a lot. And I live in a rural area, so my OBGYN was an hour away, so it was just putting a lot on me. So I and I put myself on bed rest because I want to take care of myself and my baby. So I ended up being back at home, but by the grace of God, God always opened up doors. And I was working with this nonprofit, and I was able to work with them. I've been working with them since 2013. And it's just been a blessing. And I, since I've been been working with them, I'm um, on the board of directors, and I was just elected their vice president. So, even though my my path was different, I I eventually met, I eventually got there. And so I had to literally get my my mindset and say my path is not somebody else's path. I got to get my mindset out of what 
society says you have to do and just live your life if things life is going to happen things are going to happen in your life things are not going to go that's just life things are not going to go as planned and so sometimes when we think that our life is supposed to be perfect and we look at other people's lives it puts you in a funk and i'm just letting you know y'all live your best life don't don't compare your life to other people god has something different for you than he has for somebody else and he's gonna do it differently for you than he's gonna do it for somebody else so i just want to leave you with this how to live your best life stop thinking stop caring about what people are doing stop looking at looking at what your neighbor is doing and stop trying to keep up with them you need to go before god yourself and ask him what is it that i'm supposed to be doing how can i navigate through through my life and where do you want me to be and once you get your mindset like that you are going to live your best life because you're going to look back at your life and say i'm glad that god has given me the route that i went through it may not have been the way that i wanted it to be but it's it's been a blessing i am able to be home with my children i'm helping raise my children and it may not look uh, like it's a lot of work to some people, but I'm just going to let you know, having three children under five is no easy task. Also, trying to uphold other duties that you have. So, I just want to encourage you on today, look at your life positively. Look at your life on the bright side and say, whatever it is that I'm going through, or whatever my life looks like, or it may not, I may have not gotten where I want to be, just keep going just keep pushing and stop thinking about other people what other people say because as long as you care about what other people say you're going to continue to live your life to please others live your life be happy stop comparing yourself to other people god is going to get you on the track that you need to be on so i thank y'all Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, tell me what other topics you guys want me to discuss, whatever trials or tribulations you may be going through. Please put that in the comments to let me know what you guys want to see next from me. So thank you so much, y'all. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.